Space Guard here and today I want to talk about EMS's and the importance of using one. You really need to use an EMS in your RV to protect the components of your electrical system and if you have a standalone like this or you could have one that's built into your RV. The problem though is if you have one built into your RV and you want to use a generator instead of plugging into a power pedestal you're going to get an open ground more than likely. Or if you, you want to use a standalone like this and use it with your generator, which I still, I still want to use my EMS all the time just because even on a generator it might have a voltage fluctuation that might not agree with your electronics in your, your camper. But let me just show you what happens. So let's just try and show you what happens when I use a generator on my EMS. So when you plug it in, it takes it a little while to, to uh, go through its process of checking things out. And here it goes, it says open ground, RV off. It's not gonna pass any power to the, to the camper or the RV. So if this was built in, you can't run a generator. But I got one of these, this actually came from Microair. I've seen a couple other ones that a little cheaper this one I like the way it looks it's, it looks like it's built right it's a nice plug and this is an open ground to a neutral ground bonding plug neutral ground bonding plug and what that does is it ties the neutral to the ground so when I plug it into an outlet here let me unplug it and start it back in just refresh it Detected the open ground by this point before. And, and this unit, it does 128 seconds. You can see it's at 24. It takes a whole process for it to count down. So we're just going to let this run for 120 seconds. Alright, so now my power came on. The flashing caution light's gone, and power would be coming out of the receptacle here going to the camper. And it's all because of that little plug right there. So let's just turn all this off. Okay, so by having just this little neutral ground bonding plug, you can run your generator to power your RV if you have a built-in EMS. That otherwise it would have said open ground and you wouldn't be able to use your generator. Or if you have a standalone EMS like this, you can still use it on your generator still by having this in there. And this is like a, it's like less than twenty dollars. It's like a seven, eighteen dollar plug. And um, it's, it's just something you, you just need to have. I mean, if you're going to use a generator and you have a built-in uh, EMS in your in your RV, you need one of these. And I got this from Microair. Uh, they also make some really cool uh, soft starts for air conditioners. They have a lot of other products too. But I think they're mostly known for their soft starts for their their, uh, their air conditioners, where you can run them off just like a 2,000 watt generator. You can you can run a small like a 13.5 air conditioner or 11,000 BTU air conditioner off of a 2,000 watt Honda on their system, which is pretty cool. So I got this plug and we're gonna use this whenever we're needing to use our generator. I can use my uh, EMS. Well, thanks for watching everyone. Take care, bye.